What's up, it's Eric from I Prevail, and this is our million dollar tour bus that we rented. So here's the bus. We're currently on tour with Godsmack right now. It's been awesome. Today's an off day, so I have the bus to myself, so I thought I'd just bring you guys along and check out the bus. As you see, it's got some space. We got a couch that someone's using right now. We got another couch that no one's using right now, and then we got a little bench with a table. We got TV. Usually, I don't get access to the TV because Brian's always watching football. Sometimes I just want my cartoons, so we got SpongeBob up on the TV. Here's the kitchen. We got a little coffee maker. We got a neutral bullet that I've never seen anyone use. And then we have this hot water heater thing for Brian when he makes his teas and shit. But we have a sink with water. And up here in this cupboards, we got snacks, shit ton of paper plates and bowls, coffee cups. I'm gonna take a guess that this bag of nuts is Steve's. Actually, no, it's candy, so it's not Steve's. I didn't know this was in here and I might eat this later. This one over here, it's got all my whiskey in there, so... And peanut butter. Whiskey and peanut butter. Two of the greatest things God's ever given us. Uh, I got drawers in here. Just silverware, scissors, salt and pepper. You know, the essentials. What we got in here? Meat sticks, pork rinds, and electrolyte drink mix. We got drawers down here. Bunch of popcorn, what the fuck? This is the popcorn drawer, all right. That's an empty drawer. We've had an empty drawer on this bus this whole time. Moving on, over here, so we got this sliding door thing. Want water? We got water. We got little uh, controls here to change the lights. Oh, look at that. Crazy. We got the bathroom here. Pretty fancy bathroom. Just on the other side here, there's a shower in there and then uh, a toilet. It was uh, tripping me up. The last few buses we've had to flush, you just like kind of step on a pedal. This has four buttons. Toilets are just getting more and more confusing. The other day we were parked on a hill and Steve decided to take a shower and just, he must have been going crazy in that shower, just water splashing everywhere. And that turned into a slip and slide into our bunk alley. Just water coming right out of the bathroom, down the alley. It was not sick. It was not dope. Over here we got a full on microwave. We have a freezer. It's very important you got a little lock on your refrigerators and freezers because doors will go flying open. <laughs> uh, I forgot I had this. Um, <laughs> we were on Beale Street just recently and I got a frozen alcoholic drink in. It's frozen. Some liquid deaths. Those are my favorite. Gabe and I have a severe addiction to liquid death. Got nooners, you gotta have nooners. Mango and peach are usually the flavors that end up in the fridge because I usually drink all the other ones first and then just suffer through these. Some dried out chicken breasts. Leaves more room for my Dave's hot chicken leftovers. You know, this bus is great. It's better than the one that lost five tires. It's uh, better than the one that we got shot at in. And it's uh, much better than the one that burned down on the side of the road. Now I'm gonna take you into Bunk Alley. Come on. As you can see, first of all, these are condo bunks. We got one and two, so you got a little extra space. On this side, we have how they're normally stacked. So you got three. Up here is a junk bunk. That's usually where we just put our backpacks and other shit. This has been my bunk. This side has been my bunk for, I think, the last like three years of touring. I remember being here when uh, we found out we were nominated for Grammys. Life's weird. Woo! You got it. You got what? it. Grammy. Grammy. It's legit. <laughs> Did it! We're hugging naked. See this? Oh. It's insane. Yes. I was sleeping on the bus, and I just hear everyone up front just like yelling and exclaiming. And I just whip that open real quick. I peeked out and was like, "What?" And I uh, found out, and I was like, "Holy shit!" I'm gonna go back to bed for a little bit. 
And then I got up and then I was partying. So this is Dylan's bunk. We'll just see what's in. Dude, I did a long time. I didn't know you were on the bunk, on the bus. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I was just working on some things. Uh, so this is the back of the bus. This is like where we hang most days. You know, warm up before the shows if the green room's taken over by Gabe or Steve doing their meetings or uh, if I want to come back here and, you know, Eric and I want to play some video games on the TV. It's a pretty good way to do it. My drawer, a lot of secret stuff in here. Got tomorrow's shirt. I got some some cool undies. Kind of, are those tomorrow or yesterday's undies? Both. And then, uh, you know, some pills in case my, my tummy hurts. But I will be brave about it. Actually, my drawer's back here too. I uh, I got some magic cards, got some decks, I got some books. I picked up uh, Chainsaw Man. Just a bunch of nerdy shit in there. Honestly, it doesn't seem like it gets that crazy back here, but we've got a pretty sick sound system, and uh, I don't want to lie, sometimes it gets pretty crazy back here. It's also just like a really tranquil place, you know, if you want to just escape from it all as well. Yeah. Especially on the days when there's like festivals and bands out there going on, semi trucks driving by, it's like, this is our, this is our zen zone. A lot of good times in this back lounge. There's that time that we got Christian to eat 12 cupcakes in under five minutes and then wash it down with a chug of mustard. There was the time that we got our other guitar tech, Joe, to uh, successfully spit up whatever he was choking on by doing the suplex and we hit his head on the ceiling and pretty much <laughs> knocked him unconscious. I mean, he was choking. You did save the man's life. Are we just torturing guitar techs? I... I think so. <laughs> Alright, well, you've seen the bus, now time to see the gym. What the fuck was that? Oh, hey dude. Oh, hey, what's up man? Welcome to Gym Prevail. I was wondering what was all in this trailer. Yeah, that's the way we do it. Let me introduce you to Gym Prevail. We got Gabe. Say hi. And then we got Steve back there. We don't talk. Hey, I do talk sometimes. Oh, sorry. Right now we are in um, the bench area. The, there's a lot of space in this gym, and as you can see, we care about the details. Right here, we've got the custom VA I Prevail bench, and uh, you know, right here, we lift heavy things, so uh, that my mom is still proud of me. Would you say that you pick them up and you put them back down? We do both. Yeah, we'll, oh, okay. we will pick them up. Um, and then we do put them down afterwards, yeah. Yeah, come on over to the dumbbell section. Yeah. So these are dumbbells, okay? These oh, yeah. are the Bowflex 1090s. They go from 10 to 90 pounds. Ah, gotcha. So wherever you're at, you know, for you, you'd be more on the 10 side. We're a little bit, yeah, closer yeah. to the 90 side. We've got uh, some additional free weights over here. Okay. Uh, some plates and whatnot. Uh, we will add that to this to get stronger. Oh, so you, you put even more on. We'll put even more on. Yeah. Now, these mats tell an interesting story back there, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, those are looking real familiar. We've actually uh, decided to take up, as well as doing all this workout stuff, jiu-jitsu on this tour. Welcome to the Jiu-Jitsu Corner. We actually had our friend Cole Miller stop by, UFC legend. Yeah, I mean, he's a superstar athlete, incredibly dangerous, but dude, I gotta say, I think uh, I held my own with him. I even think you got him to tap like once or twice. Yeah. I probably made him tap. He definitely didn't make me tap. I... We absolutely did not get tapped. Well, thank you guys for showing me around. Yeah. It's honestly getting hot in here and it smells quite a bit like shit. Uh, so I'm gonna get back to the bus. See you, dude. Bye, Eric. Bye, Eric. God, I hate that guy. The worst. Well, that's it. That was our tour bus, our home on wheels for the last few weeks. Hope you guys enjoyed the little tour. Now get out of here, because I got nothing else to show you. Hey, guys, I'm ready to start the video. Guys.